den, or any other room in your home, you'll find almost everything you need for your project when you visit one of Cabinet Discounter's seven showrooms in Maryland and Virginia. See some of the fantastic projects we've done in the photo gallery at CabinetDiscounters.com. Then call for a free consultation with an experienced designer. Be sure to check out this month's special offers at CabinetDiscounters.com. Cabinet Discounters, great quality, great price. Now, ABC 7 News at 11, on your side. Tonight, part two of the storm system that pummeled the south heading this way. Right now, we're still under a tornado watch and just in new severe thunderstorm warnings. The storm flooding and tornadoes killing at least eight people in the south and injuring dozens. Take a look at this massive twister in Texas. Dark, ominous skies that could be seen for miles, swallowing up the sunlight and the wind gusts there getting up to 70 miles an hour. My house was just lifted. Just scattered over the backyard. And in another part of the Lone Star State, debris scattered, homes shredded, and trees tossed. People there say they're now left with nothing. Now we're closely tracking this line of destructive storms. Seven is on your side, keeping you safe and informed ahead of and during the system. From the specific timing down to your neighborhood to the threats that we could face and what's happening around our area right now. We're covering every single angle for you. And we begin now with Stormwatch 7 Chief Meteorologist Bill Kelly. Yeah, Carl, good evening to you. Good evening, everyone. It's a pretty serious situation that we are watching. Let me show you what we have right now. We're tracking a couple of cells that are developing out ahead of our main line, but our primary focus is on the storms that have rolled through Cumberland already, continue to march now into uh, parts of Washington County, right down into sections of Mineral County, down into Grant Hardy County. In fact, this is brand new. There is a severe thunderstorm warning that is up. It includes Berkeley Springs, Morgan Jefferson County, back to Washington, and areas farther off to the south. And notice when you look at this line, it's positioned from the southwest up to the northeast. This is that front that is going to roll across Everybody gets the showers, the heavy rain, and potentially the severe thunderstorms as we go into the night. So I want to break it down hour by hour as we go into the evening hours. That map just raced on through there. But I can tell you that it's going to work through by about new or about uh, 2 o'clock in the morning. That is going to be pushing through the D.C. metro. And then by about 3 or 4 o'clock, it'll be moving off to the east. The big part of this story that I want you to know about is there is a tornado watch that's in effect for everybody in our viewing area. And while we have these severe thunderstorm warnings out, those are for wind gusts to 60 miles per hour. Those are what are called straight line winds as the winds just push in one direction. But it is not out of the question. We've already seen a couple of tornado warnings tonight for some of these to have just enough spin that that wind gust rotates and it becomes a tornado. And that, of course, is much more damaging. So we're going to be monitoring this very closely as this line works across the region from now through about 2 o'clock in the morning for D.C. and then working out completely by about 4 to 5 o'clock in the morning right out of Anne Arundel, um, parts of Calvert County, and down into sections of St. Mary's. So there are things that you can do right now. I know many of you, if not most of you, are laying in bed, you're watching this, you're ready to go, but there, it's very important. With more on that, I want to send it over to Alex. And, you know, the phone is the biggest part of that, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I think so. I mean, it's one of the things, just like the Futurecast, these storms are going to race right through our area pretty quickly, around 40 miles per hour. So we don't have that much time between now and by the time the uh, storms get here. So you want to make sure your devices are charged. You want to make sure your devices are on so you can receive those alerts. You do not want to turn your phone off. Uh, also, make sure that you know your emergency plan. You know, if you have a tornado warning that gets to your phone, you want to seek shelter. You want to get down to that lower level in the house and make sure you get away from windows and uh, just kind of get the, as many walls between you and the outside as possible. Have the flashlight, bedside table, have it ready just in case you need it as you head overnight, just in case there are power outages and they last in through early tomorrow morning. Again, charge your devices. And yeah, if your family may have not been uh, in the loop here, uh, maybe they uh, didn't know about the severe weather in the deep south, didn't know about our threat today. Yeah, just check on your family, check on your neighbors, your friends, anybody. Just let them know this threat is a likelihood as we head overnight. And as Bill and Alex said, the second round of rain making its way into the area. Victoria Sanchez continues our team coverage monitoring the roads from Storm Track 7. Victoria. Carl, we are now on I-66 headed eastbound. We did make it almost an entire full loop around the 495 inside of the Beltway. And everywhere we were, clear skies nothing yet we were out in maryland earlier this evening where we did have some heavy downpour but right now